to the... Let's give the girls what they want. <laughs> Howdy, darling Scorpio. How are you doing, friend? And happy July 2023. Let's get into your weekly tarot reading today. Just see what's going on, what's good, what's popping with y'all uh, this week. See what you can be anticipating and just all that good stuff. Now, it's important to understand as well, Scorpio, when it comes to my tarot readings, my weekly journal readings anyways, I'll cover this both for your financial situation, for those who are more career driven. And then I'm going to talk about this from a social aspect, all right? And because I understand not everyone is a hermit, right? Uh, I I am. But anyways, let's get into this here, Scorpio, because I'd like to just make sure that everyone knows my readings are all inclusive, darling, if you can't tell by just looking at me here. All right. So Ace of Cups, we have coming in for you, Scorpio. So right off the bat, we have, you know, just some really powerful energy here. Ace of Cups, by definition, just represents your heart tracker starting to open up. I won't be really surprised in the coming days for you, Scorpio, if you are uh, having like a new excitement for life. That's like the main thing that comes to my mind when I hold this here. It's just like an excitement for life, you know, because it's associated with the heart chakra, Scorpio, it's like your your cup runneth over. Your heart chakra really is just opening up and just you're feeling inspired here. Um, and it's through this inspiration should you make the most out of it, which means that means, Scorpio, that you can't be just sitting in bed with this <laughs> with this inspiration, right? It's like you have all these ideas coming in and then there's, there's just no execution, right? And so I do have to hold you accountable in this way here where it's just like it's really important for you, Scorpio, to just utilize this positive energy, utilize this inspiration that's coming towards you. And maybe that inspiration is going to come in through you know while you're scrolling on your your news feed right your so your feeds and you know maybe you get some inspiration of wanting to you know do whatever the case is right that's like your spiritual team essentially saying it's like hey we are providing all the tools for you to be able to build a beautiful life for yourself you guys have to just be willing to take action in regards to that right now the Ace of Cups also does represent like new love and opportunity coming into your life here, right? And so I feel for you right now, Scorpio, you are entering a period of your life of where more people from your soul tribe is going to start congregating around you, all right? And so what I mean by this is that you are at a point, you know, I believe we all have our own life path, right? And so you're hitting like a waypoint of your life right now, Scorpio, of where, wow, we're getting a lot just from one card, honey, right? No, we're getting, uh, you're at a point, you're getting to a waypoint point of your life right now, Scorpio, of where it's like the most optimal should you want to go out there and put yourself out there in that way to really start attracting your soul tribe into your life, right? To bring forth more relationships in your life that are more fulfilling for you, that have some depth in your life. It's like the sense of like being able to relate to these people that you're actually connecting with. Because I do get this impression here for you, Scorpio, that in the past for you, like you've been noticing like a lot of relationships, even if they've been long standing, have just probably started to uh, come to an end here because you just there's nothing in common anymore your life trajectory is like taken off this way while they go out that way all right and so when i talk about relationships i don't just mean like romantic scorpio i'm talking about your friendships you know work relationships all like we have more than just romance in our life right and so Let's continue on here we have the four of pentacles all right this is a card scorpio where uh, where you're investing your pentacles into a situation. Now, as a tarot reader, once again, I have to call you out, uh, Scorpio, in the sense of where the imbalanced aspect of the four of pentacles in this regard here kind of is just like a message reinforcing what it was I was already saying intuitively. So this is more so just like... I'm so good at my job. But what I'm trying to say is like the imbalanced aspect of the four of pentacles is that, you know, have you ever heard the phrase where it's like piss or get off the pot? Or maybe there's some variation of that there where it's like either you take the action necessary that you're feeling or just accept the fact and just, you know, let it go. Right. And so you're at this point right now, Scorpio, where your spiritual team is showing to, showing to you, it's like, hey, we're providing tools for you should you make the choice and, you know, investing in it, your resources, your time, your energy, maybe a new project, you know, with these people here, right? But it is requiring some type of action. You can't just, you know, I know when it comes to like spirituality on the internet, like people love to talk about manifestation and it's just like, oh, if I just like sit there and believe in it for long enough, it's just going to happen. Well, girl, maybe that's in your narrative honey but i personally don't believe in that you know if you're trying to 
for example, be rich and successful, you need to, in my opinion, to actually get results in a quicker way to provide that pavement, to provide that foundation for that. How's, how are you going to, you know, if you're wanting a million dollars, how are you going to manifest it? Do you have anything going on in your life right now that has the potential of making that million dollars, right? And so if you're trying to make that million dollars, what can you be doing, right? What tools can you be taking advantage of that your spiritual team is providing for you, Scorpio, to be able to do that? Does that make sense? You can't, you know, the person that already has like all these, like has different projects that they could invest into um, will have much better, higher chance of success of their manifestation than the person that has absolutely nothing to work with when they're trying to put out that energy, all right? And then even when it comes to your social life, Scorpio, this is like a message for you where it's just like, you know, this is time to get off the dating app, Scorpio. This is time for you to just stop sitting in your house and then just hoping and wishing for love to come, but you don't ever leave your house for love to find you, all right? This is really a summer for you, Scorpio, where it's like, you know, your heart tracker can really be overflowing, right, with this Ace of Cups, but there is this need for you to get out there, to do some type of action, all right, to make use of the tools that your spiritual team is providing for you at this time. And then you have the Ten of Cups. It just keeps getting better and better, <laughs> Scorpio. <laughs> um, so with this Ten of Cups here, this is just more so the sense of um, not really settling anymore, Scorpio. A phrase that I've been noticing with a lot of my uh clients that I've been uh, feeling called to be saying to them is that it's like, you know, when someone asks you, what do you want to do for a living? A lot of people will just give the answer what they think would be the most realistic for them to get that success, right? So it's like, for example, it's like someone may want to be a pop singer, right? So may want to be a famous author, but they will probably tone that down, water it down to be um, like a blogger or, you know, whatever the case is, like a lesser version of it because they think it's more likely. They think it would actually, you would be able to make money or something off of that. Whereas if I were to ask you the same question, but also include Scorpio being like, if you didn't have to worry about, if you knew for a fact it would be successful, you know, the logistics aside, like it would all be handled, what would you want to actually be, all right? And so there is this sense for you, Scorpio, of where this is not a time for you to try to figure out like quick get rich uh, things, right? This is not a time for you, Scorpio, to just try to like manifest a relationship from like a fling or like a situationship, right? This is a time for you where you, if you're really wanting to have certain things to come fruition into your life here, you can't make personal sacrifices because the, the very concept of manifestation, like, uh, like doesn't matter who you go to, the, very, the main root thing is like believing that it's actually possible for you, all right? And so by believing it's actually possible for you, you're not watering it down any, you're not making personal sacrifices here, all right? And I feel like for some of you Scorpios, you might be more willing to, uh, to uh, go out there and just do it and commit to it should you know you would actually get some really positive results, which, I mean, I personally see it, and I gain nothing from telling you what it is you want to hear, honey, because you've already been watching. <laughs> so we then have the Magician card here, which is, girl, Miss Tulip, you're really going to just clean yourself in front of the camera, in front of these people, all right? We have to have a, open up only meows for her right now. Anyways, <laughs> Scorpio, we have the Magician card here, and it's interesting that we pulled this for you because I was using the reference earlier, Scorpio, where it's like your spiritual team is providing these tools and you have to just be the one to make use of those tools because that's actually what the storyline of the magician is, right? That's why you've seen the artwork. You have the wand, you have the cup. Well, I think that's the wand right here. You have the wand, you have the cup, you have the sword, you have the pentacle. Like it's all the suits of tarot and the magician represents manifesting the reality that they want to see, right? You know, they don't, the magician doesn't settle the magician doesn't take no for an answer. The magician just goes out there and does it because they believe they can. All right. And so that's kind of your story at this point in time, Scorpio, is just for one, believing it's possible. But for two, give yourself a reason to believe that it's possible. Does that make sense? All right. You know, if I were to say it's like, oh, I want to be famous. I want to be known by so many people. But I never even like I don't post, post, put myself out there on social media. I don't do anything. All right. I have no following or anything. I'm not doing anything to get any type of attention. Seems a lot more real unrealistic for me to manifest that fame if I'm no one's, you know, I'm not putting in any of that effort. And so I feel like that's the part 
that you need to accept at this time, Scorpio. And for some of you, you need to accept it from a more unapologetic way, right? For some of you, Scorpios, you might be at this place of where you might feel guilty about wanting certain things and because people will try to project onto you being like, oh, that's such a vapid goal. That's such a vapid desire. You know, people always, like, my favorite thing, Scorpio, is when people try to say, it's like, oh, money is evil. Money is the root of all evil. And it's just like, to me, that just showcases like, where that person's head is at because in my opinion like money is just money right it's a matter of, it's a tool for given to whoever they do whatever they create whatever with that tool right and so if i have money honey you know compared to like if jeffrey dahmer had money I mean, hopefully we would be investing in different things, right? <laughs> and so think about it in that way there. It's like when good people have good things happen to them in the world, all that's going to happen is that good person's going to spread that goodness to more people. They're going to help more people, right? They're not going to just hoard their wealth. They're going to be able to make an impact, to make a difference. And so if you have this sense of guilt for wanting certain desires, I might challenge you, Scorpio, in, in that why are you? having that guilt and unpack that because the moment you're able to remove these internal blockages you'll realize just how much the world opens up around you darling all right so i want to do an oracle card and i don't oh right here <clears throat> so let's do an oracle card before i let you go as well as numerology for you oh, the card already is chosen for you um before i let you go for this week and so y'all have the butterfly spirit coming in here number 11 so y'all have the master number what do you do when you see 11 11 you make a wish right it's all about manifestation and an intent for you this week it seems all right but the message for you is be transformation is beautiful scorpio so this is really a time for you where it's like you can really change your life darling you can really make a difference and transform like how you're entering this summer which summer's already started now how you've entered the summer could be vastly different from how you, the end of the summer will look like for you in whatever facet in your career, in your social life, even within yourself. All right, Scorpio, you just have to one, give yourself a reason to why you could believe in it and have it feel realistic. And then all the pieces will fall into place. Only if you're willing to take that initial action though, and just continue on committing to that action every single day. All right. And so there's, when it comes to overnight success, it's never actually overnight success. It's through repetition is through a repeated repeating and constantly hustling and grinding to have that one day where the success happens overnight my favorite thing that i will tell myself and my clients is that you're always one video away from your life changing forever and it's true um you know that one it's all it takes is one video for everything to just change in your business in your personal life in your work you know everything and so yeah, Scorpio, I'm going to let you go now, darling. Hopefully something in here resonated with you. If it did, let me know in the comments below. Give this video a like and subscribe. And if you do want to book a private reading with me, my link is down below to my website. All right. I love you so much, Scorpio. Bye, darling.